Lobby Tools, Florida's legislative intelligence company. Subscribe today to Florida's leading policy, budget, and campaign tracking service. Request a free trial today at lobbytools.com. Florida still has a half million unemployed. At the same time, businesses are struggling to fill more than a half a million jobs. 34% of small business owners report that they've increased wages in the last three months. Bill Hurley of the National Federation of Independent Businesses says 57% of his members couldn't find someone to work over the last three months. We've always asked this question on job openings. This is at a 40-year record, and it continues to climb. More than 2.3 million Floridians were eligible for the $300 a week additional pandemic payments that end Saturday. Yes, there is a workforce shortage, but to completely blame it on unemployed people is wrong. State Representative Anna Escamani's office has been ground zero for helping unemployed navigate benefits. Some are still furloughed, some have childcare expenses, some are too old uh, to be on their feet all day in the sense that they don't have the ability to do that. They need a job that can meet their, their level of skill and comfort. Since the beginning of the pandemic, pawn shops have seen something they've never seen. People stop borrowing. While borrowing is down, check cashing is up. People were getting more money, so there wasn't the urgency of getting money from me. And so far, the idea that people aren't working because they can make more staying home is unproven, but the picture could be clearer after the $300 a week checks end Saturday. Reporting from the state capitol, I'm Mike Vasilinda.